Mr. Secretary General, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor for the opportunity we have been given to a joint WMEO to celebrate the World Meteorological Day. We commend WMEO, its Secretary General, and all staff of this organization for the hard work and tireless effort to guarantee adequate hydrometeorological services for the well-being and protection of the communities from disasters. Mozambique, due to its geographical location, is vulnerable to events such as tropical cyclones that, due to the climate change, are more frequent and severe. We are reminded of the impact of Cyclone Idai in 2019 that devastated the city of Beira in central Mozambique, followed by Cyclone Kenneth a month after Idai, and more recently, we were affected by cyclones Chalani, Elwis, Guambe, Anna, Gombe, with floods that caused suffering and destroyed infrastructures and the livelihoods of people and communities. But also, the country suffered from droughts, fires, locust pests, and other phenomena. In view to this occurrence, hydrometeorological services are called upon to provide information and a warning that contain a clear indication of expected risks and impacts, as well as advice on measures that must be taken. The identification of risks and measures to be taken should be based on a multidisciplinary and multisectorial work and knowledge that integrate the network that is associated with the occurrence of extreme events and their impacts. However, we note that today the integration of risk associated with extreme events and the degree of impact soils is still very weak. In addition, we often lack decision support tools that allow us to visualize risks and potential impact in various areas. Mr. Secretary General, I take this opportunity to thank the community of meteorology experts for providing comprehensive and timely information on the trajectories and characteristics of cyclones. By means of technical cooperation and collaboration coordinated by WMO, Mozambique has benefited assistance. In like manner, we wish to request for similar support for the national meteorological and the hydrological services of the other countries with the similar characteristics of Mozambique with the M2 able to generate and communicate greater and better knowledge about the risks of a rise of stream weather and climate events in the context of climate change that we are living today. Empowered to integrate information on impacts and warnings that are communicated and that the warnings are in the language understandable to the population and decision makers. Supported to develop in collaboration with target sectors, municipalities, infrastructure, health, transport, etc., decision making support tools that allow the data and information provided by meteorological and hydrological services to be used to objectively determine the necessary preparation and response to extreme events, supported to extract operational relations between meteorological, hydrological and disaster services through the self-existence of technical and operational cooperation protocols, including data sharing and information, and supported to implement public and sub sectoral education and awareness campaigns. Mr. Secretary General, my country recognized the importance of meteorological and hydrological services, not only for the management of disasters, but also 
as providers of scientific information to support the design of policies and strategies, particularly in the areas of adaptation and sustainable development. We also recognize the need to have the technical capacity, infrastructure, and human resources so that we can have quality services. In this regard, I would like to inform that it was launched in my country on March 9, the initiative One District, a meteorological station, so that all 154 districts in the country have at least one station. With this project, we want to have a better knowledge of the behavior of the weather parameters, which will contribute to the improvement of global and national forecasts and the consequent improvement of services provided to various users. Mr. Secretary General, Mozambique attached great importance to the international and the regional cooperation in this area to allow inter-help between states and sharing of knowledge and good practices. In our ex IBC region, there is cooperation in the field of meteorology consisting of data sharing and effort to establish an integrate network of meteorological observation, data processing, and communication systems. I would like to thank WMO for their support, in particular, the mission sent to Mozambique after Cyclone Idai in 2019, which resulted in very practical and valuable recommendations that have been followed by the government in its efforts to improve the quality of hydrometeorological services in the country. In conclusion, we would like to thank the WMO Secretary General, Professor Peter Talas, who has been a great supporter and friend of Mozambique. Thank you for your attention.